This thing you are looking right now is not a large language model or a mind of a supercomputer. This is the graph view of my ethical hacking notes I've collected through the years. In this video, I will share the techniques on how I take notes to recall information faster and what tool I use to speed up my workflow. Aside from quickly writing down ideas and technical stuff, I want to be able to retrieve information from my notes in split second. I've tried different note-taking apps, but there is one thing that really stands out to me. That is Obsidian. Everyone must be already familiar with this, but I will share the unique techniques I came up with to make my note-taking fast and efficient. Obsidian is very lightweight since it uses markdown files underneath. This allows me to quickly take notes in an instant without waiting for the application to load. It is easy also to put code blocks, which contains my cheat sheet and various exploit snippets. Bulleted or numbered items are also easy to do, which is useful for step-by-step -step instructions in performing certain tasks. I can also easily paste images and view it as I edit. I don't need to render or preview it separately. With Obsidian, I can organize my notes in a way that only the relevant things are shown. I can easily put tags. Headings are foldable. I can position the table of contents anywhere I want. Here you see it on my right side. If I want to, I can move whole block of text by dragging the headings. Graph view on the lower left side links different notes together. For example, this shows me which machines have a local file inclusion vulnerability. Obsidian has a lot of plugins you can install. In my case, I installed OmniSearch, which allowed me to perform fuzzy searches across my entire vault. I can just hit double shift to bring up this search bar. This speeds up my searches and return more relevant results. Another plugin I'm using that really helps me, especially for doing complex analysis, is the Dynamic Highlight plugins. What it does is that it highlights similar strings from your selection. You can also just put your mouse cursor at the end or start of the word and it will highlight it in a different manner. This saves me time trying to search for something, and this gives me a very nice view of similar strings like payloads and memory addresses. I mostly use flat naming layout for my files. For example, all Linux buffer overflow has this prefix. This keeps them all organized and easy to search rather than going through several layers of folders. By default, if you open a file in Obsidian but that same file is already opened, it will create duplicate tabs, which is very annoying. So I installed the MonoNote plugin that will prevent those duplicate tabs. For example, you see here that I have a note about socket reuse technique. Let's say I accidentally tried to open it again. It will just jump to the existing tab instead of opening a new one. Since this are just markdown notes, it is easy to use version control with my files. I have a plugin that regularly commits and detect changes on my notes so I can easily track the history or rollback if I need to. For example, if I put additional bytes on my payload, I can easily see how is it different from the previous one I used. Lastly, even though I use a flat layout for my file names, I still have folders. Sometimes, if the topic is too large and involves many concepts, I put few folders so that the names of the files will not be too long. I believe note-taking is an overlooked skill in ethical hacking. Having organized notes and being able to retrieve relevant information quickly is another skill to master. I hope you learned something today. If you find my content valuable, please support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. See you on the next one.